you know, I, I saw some poems actually today. I thought, let's capture some and speak of perception. So let's, and speaking, look at this. It all begins, this, people make this a bedrock of your life. Seriously, a cornerstone. What this, you see, it explains fear. Everything in essence. It's uncertainty, the unknown. So, you see, if here you've got on what is fear, non-acceptance of uncertainty. If we accept that uncertainty becomes an adventure, it's simply a perspective. See how you look at something. Is that same thing you're looking at, are you getting excited about it? Are you getting scared about it? Most, look, we often just live in our minds. We don't even live. <laughs> you know, it's like we scare the crap out of ourselves. Oh. You know, like it hasn't even happened. Nothing's happened. We're just frightening ourselves. It's in there. It's in there. There is an there is an inherent amount of uncertainty. There is just inherent uncertainty in this dunya. And what Insan does throughout his collective life, the whole of Insan, is tries to remove as much uncertainty towards certainty. But the truth is, Allah says, you know, ultimate certainty is the al-yaqeen. Hatta ya'ti ahmul yaqeen. Until yaqeen. And yaqeen there is the end of uncertainty, which in the Quranic sense is the end of this life. Because yaqeen in those verses means death. Which is really, that's a fascinating, um, you know, it's... Whoa, just something to think about that we, this uncertainty is inescapable. And if you escape it, it means this life is over now. <laughs> wow. wow, what a beautiful way to think of it. You know, but it's in, in a way, it's relieving because it brings you back to tawakkul. It will happen. You know, tawakkul and Allah, you know, inshallah, inshallah. It's like it's like that. Yeah. That um what had uh, I was going to say speaking of that Ghalib had said um about he had refrained it not as certainty but of love and no sorry of uh, life and of the um, what should we say? The, the 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 difficulties, gum. You know the melancholy. That what what is he says? Um, you know he says kaid e hayat aur asal mein dono ek hai. Mot se pehle aadmi. That why should a person <coughs> before death be free from melancholy? That there is always going to be some, and this gham here is the same understanding as suffering. But suffering, this is the point, a lot of it is just in there. It's not actually, it's like if you change your perspective, you change the story. <laughs> it's Think about it. That's it's it's all oh, not but an incredible amount is in there so let's i thought well and in light of that people va i you know there were some two three select poems i thought let's let's bring this up dil na umid to nahi nakam hi to hai Allah, ki sham, magar sham hi to hai. <laughs> that you see that this heart hasn't lost hope. It's only failed. It's merely failed. That's all. Failure. It's only fail, man. <laughs> it says that the evening of distress is long indeed. But ultimately, it's still an evening. <laughs> wow. 
you know, think about that, man. Just think about that. It's so, you know, whenever anybody who's feeling a bit down for whatever reason, life's, you know, whatever life has thrown at them, just remember that, that this too shall pass. Tawakkulan ala Allah. This was another one I saw and I thought, well, va. Right, so let's, I thought, let's, this was Parveen Shakir's. Ishq ne seekhi li waqt ki taqseem ke ab. Wo mujhe yaad to aata hai, magar kaam ke baad. <laughs> Make of that what you may. Make of that what you may. It says, love now has learnt <clears throat> how to, basically how to organize its time and give it structure. It says, and she says that I do remember him, but after, but it's only after I dealt with, see, I'm trying to translate it in a way that it kind of still captures some of its meaning. That, obviously she's saying, but after the necessity, after the need, after work here, akam is more about what, what he would have been purpose, what he would have been helpful with. So, yeah, make of it what you may. But that was, it's actually fascinating. It also just reminds you how, you know, there there are, there is this thing of being helpful. There's an element that if you, how it, I guess, increases in love, that, hmm, you know, there's, 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 there's something, you know, one could ponder. Poetry is something, you know, poetry is in essence less about the words and more about what it makes you experience, the kafiyat. That's why in Arabic, shi'ar is from shu'ur. It's from awareness and consciousness. Because it's of the feelings that you experience as opposed to the words, shi'ar. 